The victim of a terrifying axe attack in Perth South has told Nine News he has no idea why he was targeted in his own home. Ryan Trelfo was slashed twice in the arm, leaving a gash so severe he needs surgery. Ryan Trelvo has lived inside this Hampton Road apartment complex for just over a year. Now this is all that's left of his home. Smashed to pieces and trashed, the remnants of a savage axe attack he claims was unprovoked. Someone decided to machete through my door and continued to kick the door in and then slice my arm up. Police were called to the complex around 7.40 last night, responding to reports of an escalating argument. It was pretty scary, you know what I mean, like, and it all happened, you know, pretty well unprovoked, which was the other bit that I didn't understand, you know what I mean, because I always try and do the right thing by people. Ryan says two of his friends jumped to his defence, managing to wrestle the man away, only for the attacker to return moments later and strike with the axe, leaving Ryan with wounds so severe they'll need surgery. Basically he goes from here to here about an inch deep, pretty much back to the bone. The building belongs to non-profit group Foundation Housing, affordable accommodation for men and women in need with 24-hour security. Fellow resident Dane Allen Wainwright Bugard has been charged over the attack. Today, the 29-year-old fronted court accused of aggravated home burglary and intent to commit grievous bodily harm. He'll front court again next month. Neighbours say police cars and ambulances are a common sight outside the complex and they've begun to fear living nearby. Nothing unusual to me. It's either a police van here or an ambulance here every second or third night. I think this is a real kick up the bum to get out of there. Foundation Housing has been contacted for comment. Mia Edgerton-Warburton, Nine News.